Hi, I'm Mark, and I collect things. Sometimes I even play things, and I'm always here making large nostalgia-based purchases and wondering where the last 30 years went. Today, I have a huge Mail Day unboxing. In this box is an original painting from the recent Joe Jusko's art of the 1992 Marvel Masterpieces Kickstarter. To commemorate the 30th anniversary of the original Marvel Masterpieces set and to offer something truly special to collectors, Joe Jusko has painted an homage of each character in the same style and format as the original work. Let's open up the package together and see what the painting looks like. All right, I believe I've got the box to where I can go ahead and open it. The Kickstarter project was to fund a new 300 page hardcover book published by FPG featuring all of the original artwork from the 1992 Marvel Masterpieces set and the history behind the set. Looks like it's packaged up pretty good. The original art tier was Pretty expensive, but I believe that it was fairly priced for what it is. You get an original painting by Joe Jesco and a signed and numbered variant of the hardcover book limited to, I think it's going to be 124 total copies. Originally it was 104, but they added the 20 extra bonus characters from the Marvel Masterpieces 10 and the Series 2 characters. And one of the best parts is that the project is officially licensed by Marvel. I felt like this was a once in a lifetime opportunity, so I decided to go ahead and go for it. I still have some regrets about not pursuing Dave Palumbo's original paintings from the 2020 Marvel Masterpieces. There are a few I had my sights on, but didn't end up pulling the trigger on any of them. Really regret not going after the Shadow Cat. I want to be really careful getting into this. Actually, I might fold. That one's pretty close to the tape. I don't want to damage the painting at all. I think we can get one more of these. All right. And there it is. So as you guys can see, I was extremely lucky to have drawn the Wolverine character slot. I just could not believe it on the night of the live draw when my number came up for Wolverine. One of the top tier characters, of course, and a character that most people know and a character that I love. There's Joe Jesco's signature here in the bottom right with the 22 for 2022. This is, of course, not the exact original artwork from the card. I don't know where those paintings are. These are recreations that Joe made of his own artwork to celebrate the 30th anniversary. I have in this binder over here my original childhood set of the complete 1992 Marvel Masterpieces, including all five Spectre cards. As a child, I somehow managed to wheel and deal and trade my way into the complete set, including the Battle Spectres. Then I have a spare base set. I can go ahead and grab the Wolverine from that. We can do a side-by-side -side comparison can see how closely he recreated his painting. What a beautiful piece of artwork. I'm extremely lucky and I feel honored to be able to own this original artwork by Joe Jesco. I believe the painting is on an eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of paper, which to my understanding is the same size as what the original artwork was created on for the 1992 set. I knew this was going to look great in hand when I finally received it, but I am still surprised how amazing it looks. I just cannot believe the amount of detail that Joe has been able to cram onto this painting. It looks so good. I really want to go ahead and get it framed. I think I'm going to go ahead and work on a way to frame it. Originally, each of these was supposed to come framed, but it sounds like there were some problems with the supply chain or the suppliers for the frames. So the frame got canceled. I think I am gonna go ahead and try to get a black frame with a black and gold mat to match the motif that was originally intended for all of these original paintings. And th this is out of the ordinary for me. This is definitely the most expensive collectible item I've purchased and surely the most valuable item in my collection now. And interestingly, my previous most valuable item is also a Joe Jesco related item. I'll have to show that off in a future video maybe one day. 
This is definitely the new big piece out of my collection across all the various things I collect from comic books, trading cards, video games, action figures. Let me know down in the comments which card or character from the 1992 Marvel Masterpieces is your favorite. And if you happen to be one of the 124 original art backers and received a painting, let me know which character you got and what you think about it. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more collectible related content, I encourage you to consider liking and subscribing. That would help out my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.